A boisterous meeting between residents of the Jacob Reese houses and NYCHA officials amid the latest twist in the week-long water supply saga at the public housing complex. I fought overseas and I didn't get poisoned with their water and I come home as a vet to put up with this. The city now saying there was never any arsenic in the drinking water. Instead, the Illinois-based testing company botched the results, inadvertently adding the chemical into the sample during the lab testing process. But residents still aren't sure what to believe. They're saying the water is safe. <laughs> I'd like to see the mayor drink some of this water. Environmental monitoring and technologies tried to reassure the 3,000 residents in a statement retracting all arsenic results produced on August 26th and September 1st. But the finger pointing between the city and the lab raises new questions about transparency from the mayor's office. The city had denied knowing anything about the potential arsenic problem before last Friday. However, we know now the water first tested positive a week before residents were warned, according to the lab. Look at this. See how cloudy it is? The testing process was initiated after cloudy water was coming from the tap last month. That problem has since been resolved. But City Hall is still urging residents to refrain from using the water for a seventh day, while new tests are pending from a separate lab. Well, the mayor's office has not yet responded to those reports that they had already known about this potential arsenic problem a week before they sounded the alarm. However, City Hall is saying this morning they are looking at all possible legal options against this water testing company. That's the latest live in the East Village. I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News.